Most British politicians are eager to play up how much they love soccer. It's been said Keir Starmer is such a fanatic, he actually has to play it down. Starmer tries to play football here with his friends every week, but that now could prove to be a lot more difficult than it was as opposition leader or as a busy lawyer. In his early legal career, Starmer was known for his pro bono work in helping environmental activists who had been sued by McDonald's, a sign of his desire to make the legal system more accessible. I think that means stripping judges and lawyers of their wigs and gowns. Rising to Director of Public Prosecutions, he successfully prosecuted a Tory Lord and three Labour Party MPs over fraudulent expenses. He was knighted for his work before becoming a Labour MP in 2015. Starmer's biographer, Tom Baldwin, is a former Labour Party advisor. One of the paradoxes about him is he's probably the most working class leader the Labour Party's had for a generation, and yet he's the first one ever to have a pre, the sir prefix to his name before he got the job. Starmer's first task as party leader was to rid it of accusations of tolerating anti-Semitism. The report finds serious failings in leadership, processes and culture in dealing with anti-Semitism within our party. Starmer's predecessor Jeremy Corbyn said the scale of that problem was overstated. In response, Starmer, whose wife's family is Jewish, kicked Corbyn out of the party. During the war in Gaza, he faced criticism from the left of Labour for waiting four months before calling for an immediate ceasefire. His biographer says mending the scars of Brexit will now be a Starmer priority. So he wants to rebuild some of that soft power Britain's reputation as fair dealers, sensible grown-ups. And milk is around the corner. A creaking National Health Service, migration and the war in Ukraine are just some of the other issues that will fill Starmer's agenda should he win. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.